Hey, I'm gonna show you how to track campaigns, email campaigns. Maybe you're doing a campaign with like some other organization. They're gonna point over to your website. It could be an email blast and you wanna know, how do I track these people and uh, what should it look like? We're gonna use a thing called UTMs. It's 2024, I'm Rob of Feedback Wrench and I am going to help you. Now, first off, the thing that I would do is there is such thing as the Google Analytics Development Tool. So um, Google Analytics Development Tool, and it looks like this. So that, the link's in the description of the video. And once you get in here, what we're gonna be doing is we are doing a campaign URL builder. And what this will do is we're gonna create a little we're going to take your link and we're going to wrap it in what's called a UTM code, which is a like a series of question marks and whatnot. It ends up, you've probably seen this question mark, UTM underscore source equals this and UTM underscore medium equals that. And what this will do is it will just easily build a link that when we come into Google Analytics, which this is the key, if you don't have analytics, it gets really hard to track what's going on. And this is kind of like if you were to get into MailChimp and see how many clicks to an email you had, um, it's kind of hard to see. So anyways, I'm gonna go to my feedback wrench G4. So just so you know, in 2024, there's these two types of Google Analytics accounts. And if you don't have Google Analytics, there's some other videos that'll walk you through that you have to have it in the head of your website and everything. So whatever um, site you're gonna go to. But if I go to reports here, and if I go to like acquisition, and I go to user acquisition. So this is how did I get the people? What you'll see is there are these things down here and I have campaign, medium, source, and medium. And so if I, what I can do here is I can put in, um, now first off, you got to make sure that you switch it to the G4. That's the new one. We don't want to do the other way. We want to do G4. And let's just say, for example, um, I've got a customer, new spaces, remodeling, great unbelievable remodeling company, they're gonna do something for their contact page. So what you would do is you'd come to this tool, you put in your URL here, and what we'd wanna do is put campaign source, you know, um, campaign name, and you just kinda of wanna name that, and you can do it for the medium. Now you can name other things, um, like a term, a code, um, you know, use to differentiate ads, but usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your campaign ID, your campaign source, and your campaign medium. Um, but there's no reason why you can't just kinda of put them in all of them here, which sounds ridiculous. But now I get this long code, and basically when I click on that, um, and you don't have to shorten it, it'll be fine if you include this as a link. If I use that, when that gets clicked, I'll be able to come back here, and I'll be able to say first user campaign, and boom, down here I'll see the campaign. So for example, Right now I have a remarketing campaign in Facebook and I have used a URL that is tagged as remarketing campaign. And essentially what's happening there is I can see exactly what they're doing. Like if they click in, how many conversions have done through that campaign. Um, I can come down here. Here's another remarketing campaign that I have. Um, I probably need to differentiate whether these are um, Facebook or Google. I have a CPA site solutions add up and you can see um, how many conversions and everything that's been going on there. We've got this accountant retargeting. So you'll be able to see your campaigns down here um, if you want to. Again, you could use it by source. That's another one. So first use your source. That's a little bit different thing. If you tag the source on there, you'd be able to see it. Um, and you have channel group and mediums, another one. Um, but really what you're gonna do is, you, so that's how you'll build that out. If you do that, um, there's a lot of things you could do. The other thing